Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this picture right here. So it's going to cover Lightroom, but it's mostly going to be about Photoshop because I'm going to do a Lightroom editing tutorial a little bit later. So um, here we are in Lightroom. Um, this is the edit that I put on this photo. I'm going to just show you guys some of the settings I used. Not all of them, but these are like some of the more important ones. So these are just the basic ones. Um, this is just a photo where I focused on the fence in, in the foreground. So it made the car lights in the background, um, blurred out and has the like bokeh effect or whatever. So this is like the before and after this is the original shot. This is my edit. So that's all good. So once you have a shot like this, where it's out of focus, um, with a hole in a fence somewhere and you have the the blurred lights in the background. What you want to go do is go to right here, um, develop settings, copy settings, and um, figure out which settings you actually want to copy over. I know I don't necessarily want all these. Usually I uncheck white balance, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of it. Um, go over here to the other photo. Now this photo is, um, I move my camera a little bit closer in, like through the hole so you don't see any of the fence. Um, and then what I did was uh, I just you know, they took the same photo, but there's no fence and it's in focus. So these are the only two photos you need to create this image. You don't need anything else. So anyways, you go back to develop settings when you're on this photo and you click paste settings. And so that pastes the exact same Lightroom settings that were in the previous one, like even more so than a pre preset. Like with um, a preset, you're not allowed to like crop anything, but this will give you the exact same crop and everything. But this obviously doesn't look quite as good. Um, I know in this image right here, I actually used the adjustment brush and it affected the sky. Um, there's somewhat of a glitch with Lightroom. So that actually, that brush ended up uh, getting placed on the road. Anyways though, it doesn't look good in the sky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Um, this, is, this image is looking pretty good. Um, one thing I might wanna do is bump up the brightness a little bit and um, bring down, yeah, the temperature. Um, I'll go with 5,650. That's just seems like a pretty, eh, okay, I'll go a little higher. 5,700. Just seems like a pretty solid amount. Um, you're only actually going to be seeing the center part of this image, so you don't really need to worry about the sky or anything. But anyways, once you have these both edited to your liking, the in-focus one and the out-of-focus one with the focus on the fence, you're going to want to export them both to the same place. So right over here, I have the two images. This is the, uh, you know, these two images. So then you wanna bring both images into Photoshop. Um, one thing you actually wanna do beforehand, uh, which I forgot to mention, is you wanna crop your image to your liking. Um, Instagram, by the way, is this crop, four by five or eight by 10. So you'll be able to post that on Instagram without Instagram cropping anything if you've cropped it ahead of time. So anyways, you bring those both into um, Photoshop. Here you go. This is the foreground, this is the background. So then, what you want to do next is really simple by the way you just zoom in like this and my favorite tool for selecting things is the poly uh i don't even know how to say it polygonal lasso tool yeah it's right under the lasso tool so anyways all you want to do is you just want to go through and you want to select the um the entirety the inside here you know with like a bunch of tiny little precise clicks, or you could use the pen tool for this, but I don't actually know how to use the pen tool. Um, and you just want to select the entire edge of this fence here. So you can select the interior. And then what you're going to do um, is once you have it all selected, so I'm just going to speed up and have it all selected really quick. All right, so I did this one a little bit more sloppily than uh, previously, and I actually messed up right here but it's totally fine. You guys will get the idea of what I'm actually trying to go for and I can use it as an example. So here, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is, um, so one option you have here is you can just um, select any of the selection tools and go to the layer, the, uh, the background layer, the one that's in focus and right click and click layer via copy and then bring that into the front. But um, you might actually not wanna do that because in this situation, you're actually going to have to erase the, uh, the foreground so bring out your eraser tool, just erase it all. Um, and what this is gonna do 
yeah you see I messed up here just on this top part so yeah you just erase the foreground and then what you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to basically bring the background so it, it links up with the foreground because like you know these cars are like not in the same lane or anything so you're just going to want to adjust it I think this is pretty good just you know minor adjustments and it'll come out like that um, but you got to be really careful when you're using the uh, polygonal selection tool because if you select the same point twice it'll think you want to restart it but yeah the reason why you can't just use an eraser like this is because um, the edges are too soft so it'll just it won't look good um, but anyways this is sort of like the gist of how it works it's really not that complicated of an edit um, maybe you might even want to rotate this background image a little bit I think yeah it would look better like that um, I mean really there's not much to it um, just try to find uh, unique places to do it this is how I made this photo thank you guys for watching have a nice day